Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Now today's video, I want to walk you through how you can invest in cryptocurrency with very little money and very little time. And I also want to show you how much time people are actually using and what that time is worth to you, whether we should be looking at a deep dive portfolio or a short term portfolio, something that you can easily wrap your head around and understand what it is that you're doing without much time. So that's what you're going to learn in this video. And by the end of it, you'll understand which side of the equation you should be with. So whether you're new or old or experienced in the crypto game, you will gain something from this video. So make sure you watch it right through. And I've also got all the links down below in the description for the exchanges that I use and other bonuses you can get for signing up with those exchanges. Of course, they're affiliate links. They don't cost you anything. But if you choose to use those links down below, you can be sure that those are the official links to the websites. All right. Let's go ahead and dive in. So crypto investing on a budget, something small, 100 bucks, 500 bucks, and no time to research. We know in the cryptocurrency space, it takes a lot of time to find those really good projects. Some people will tell you it's very easy, very straightforward. The processes are quite easy, but there are a lot of steps involved. So we'll run through that. So the idea with this video is to help you choose cryptocurrencies to invest in on a budget and to understand the amount of time that you're going to be putting into this endeavor. It can be very fruitful if you give it the time. But if you find that investing in cryptocurrency isn't something that you enjoy, then you're probably better off using your time elsewhere, as I'll show you in just a moment. Now, that's probably not what you'd expect from a cryptocurrency video, but I just want to be completely honest with you. There are a lot of people that come to the space and expect huge returns, but you can really get great returns with little time if you know what you're doing. So a common question that comes up, especially on my Instagram and on Twitter, when new investors come to the market during the midst of a bull market is they ask, what should I be investing in? And they purely can't invest in all the cryptocurrencies. For one, don't have enough cash to diversify their portfolio or not enough time to learn on top of a day job and family, and of course, kids, and you want to take some time off, etc. You know, there's always things going on. So if there's not enough time in your life, then this is really going to help. The time is the critical factor. So as I said, if you're new or old, you've been around the space, look at these examples that I'm about to give you here. Time is a critical point in Bitcoin and crypto bull markets. Missing the timing could mean the difference between your 10x and a 2x, maybe even 100x and a few x. So your time is valuable. Spending hours on trading and investing will show you just how much, the, uh, how much your time is worth. All right, so how much return do you want and how much is your time worth? So if you've been in the cryptocurrency space for longer than a couple of weeks, you'll know just how crazy and noisy it can be, especially during a bull market. And you'll find yourself using a lot of your time just trying to keep up with tweets and videos and all sorts of nonsense that goes on in the space. The way I see this is the majority of it is noise, but we don't know that when we first start. And so our time gets spread very thin and the cost of our time is quite remarkable how little we pay ourselves per hour to be investing. So this is how we're going to decide what we can do with a small amount of uh, money, something like a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks, maybe 500 bucks. And if we don't have a lot of time as well, in this case, we're going to start with a balance of $500 using an example that is pretty typical of a Bitcoin bull market. Now you're probably wondering, why don't you just tell me which cryptocurrencies to buy? Now the point with that is there are going to be different people. Some people are going to want to put the time in and dedicate a lot of their free time to understanding what cryptocurrency is. And other people will just figure out that it's not for them. And they may just leave the space and miss a fantastic opportunity that could be really easy and well underneath their nose. So let's have a look at the numbers now. Now, I said this is typical of a Bitcoin bull market. We could probably expect a lot more, maybe less. It's just looking at a bit of a balance of what we should anticipate with our capital. So this is what we do if we were spreading our money very thin with such a small amount. So we have 500 bucks and we spread it across 10 different cryptocurrencies at $50 each. Now this isn't taking into account any of the fees and costs which we'll get into in just a moment. So one of our cryptos does a 10x. So that's 500 bucks for that one. Two of our cryptos do a 3x. So about 150 bucks each. These are all approximates to give us a rough idea. So $300. Four of them lose 50%. So instead of getting your $50 back, you're only getting $25 back. And that's if you take a loss. And most people won't take a loss. They usually watch these things, ride them down to 
90%, 95% down. So that means we'll get $100 back from that and three of them ride them to zero, okay? So out of all of these 10 cryptocurrencies, we ended up with $900. Minus our $500 that we've had initial as initial capital, we made a profit of $400. Total profit, $400. Now let's figure out how much time we've invested into cryptocurrency to get us to this point. So if you're just starting and you wonder, what does this all mean? How does how do I actually make anything from crypto, cryptocurrency? I'm giving you a bit of a rough idea here, a look into a potential future. And some people might even use a lot more than 10 hours a week. So my question is, how many hours did you spend on crypto in the last one week? So uh, one and a half hours per day, approximately 10 hours. You will use that as round numbers. Where did I get that from? Look, I've got a small poll here of only 800 votes so far, uh, one hour or less. This is not just watching crypto on YouTube, but how many hours per day do you actually spend on education and practical application of your cryptocurrency, like learning stuff? The other question I have is how many hours per day do you currently spend watching crypto YouTube? One to two hours. This is only from about the same as well, a few hours up, about 800 people. It's not huge, but it's something to work with. And when I do speak with my students in the Investor Accelerator, it is around this time frame of about one to two hours. When you factor in travel to work, working, family, meals, everything else that goes into your day, sleep, what exercise, you're not really going to get too much more time per day. So if you happen to get more, great. But for this example, we're looking at one to two hours. So it's one and a half hours per day. Now, the next question is how many months since you invested this money? I'm using four months. It's approximately four months since the top's and you could use a little more, you could use a little less, but for the purpose of the calculations, I'm going with four months. Now, most people do come in at the top, so that's why I'm using the four months. Obviously, this will change depending on when you came into the market, but overall, this is what we'll go with. Most people are pretty new when it comes to investing. So we've got about 17 weeks. We've used 10 hours, which means that's about 170 hours in total. So how much did we actually pay ourselves from this profit? Now, you might be shocked to know that it was a measly $2.35. And I suspect we probably use a lot more than 170 hours in that time. Maybe we've earned a lot more. Maybe we haven't. Maybe we earned less. Maybe we lost money. So in that case, all that time, we've lost money. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. Now, just as a positive, maybe we didn't earn 400 in profit. Maybe we earned 4,000 in profit from the $500. So 4,000 divided by, our, divided by our 170 hours gives us $23.50 per hour. If that sounds pretty good to you, why not? 23 bucks an hour. But generally in cryptocurrency, you're probably going to want to earn more than $23 an hour. It's not really going to help you out, feed your family and make it like a long term endeavor at this rate. Now, does that mean we should just give up and not worry about investing at all because we started with such a small amount? No, not at all. The point that we lo are looking at here is our time. Where is our time better invested? And if you are into investing and understanding your time, personal development, you'll know that time is your most valuable asset. And so if we're wasting our time on $2.35 per hour activities, we're never going to get to where we want to go. So now we understand how much our time is actually worth in the market and I guess how much you're willing to value your own time. This is an easy point now to decide, do you want to get further into cryptocurrency or are you happier to take more of a passive investment journey in cryptocurrency, start to research maybe just the top one or two like Bitcoin or Ethereum, maybe keep an ear out for something else that might come around, but then spend your time in some other endeavors to make more money in order to keep uh, dollar cost averaging into your portfolios. Or do you want to jump headfirst into cryptocurrency, spend hours a day and build your portfolio out uh, using all different types of altcoins and money management and trade strategies? No way is right or wrong. You just need to know where your time is better spent and what you enjoy doing more because you don't want it to be a massive headache because it's just not going to work out. Now onto the fees because starting with a few hundred bucks, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, and we divide that up into multiple cryptocurrencies, we can lose a lot of money when it comes to the fees. We have trading fees, buying in and out. We have withdrawal fees, moving that cryptocurrency from an exchange to a wallet where we're safe keeping it. So those are the sort of things we need to take into consideration as well when starting with a small amount. It's just not as simple as dropping 50 bucks into 10 different coins because we'll definitely lose a fair chunk 
on all the exchanges. Some exchanges only have minimum trading amounts as well. Maybe you can only buy a minimum of $10. So if you want a dollar cost average in with $5 per week on a particular crypto, it's just not possible on certain exchanges. And the other thing is not enough time uh, to watch your entire portfolio. So you can kind of see where I'm heading with this. When it comes to uh, smaller amounts of money, it's possibly a better option to, just to keep things a little tighter in the initial stages of just having one to three or so cryptocurrencies. That helps with your time. If you don't have enough time, then at least you can research uh, more easily on just those few cryptos. But where would you start with those cryptos? We would start with some fundamentals. So here is a short list of the, some things to go through. Now, if you're using things like Bitcoin or Ethereum, starting with these big, large cryptocurrencies, a lot of this stuff is very, very easy to find. And that makes doing the work a hell of a lot easier as well. Plus, they've been around for many, many years. So there is that level of security within these cryptocurrencies themselves. So the fundamentals, some things we need to ask ourselves and find out online. Why are these cryptos on our list in the first place? Do you know what these cryptos are? Do they have long term growth? Is there a short term mega pump happening on these cryptos? Find out about these things. And to do that, do they have social engagement? Of course, Bitcoin's everywhere. Ethereum is nearly everywhere now. Do they provide regular project updates on socials? This might be talking about some of the smaller cryptocurrencies. Is the team doxxed? So the people who have started these cryptos, are they known? Or the people who are working on them now, are they known? Can you research the team's credentials? Uh, is there a marketing strategy that's working? Do they have serious backers? So this might be for smaller altcoins, which uh, are just coming out of an ICO and you've got bigger venture capitalists that have invested in them. Do they have a roadmap? Have you read their white paper, for example, Bitcoin? What do the tokenomics look like? This is things like uh, pumpamentals. What sort of words are they using in their marketing? Uh, in terms of the tokenomics, how many coins do they have? Where is the supply? These are all sort of things that you need to know about the project. And thinking about how much time you have, is your time worth uh, looking into a lot of these things? Is there liquidity on a major exchange? If not, is the token on a reputable decentralized exchange, looking at smaller cryptos as well. So that's just a overview of some of the fundamentals that we can look through before putting our money into these cryptocurrencies. Onto the technicals, one of some of my favorites. I look at support and resistance levels on the charts. And if you wanna learn more about this, subscribe to the channel. I do support and resistance every single day. So a lot of technical analysis is on those videos. Check out the alt that you're looking at against its Bitcoin pairing. Again, check out the videos on the channel. That's an uh, education piece on its own. So it's for a separate video, very in detail to learn very quickly whether the crypto you're looking to buy is worth the time or not. If it's on a downtrend against Bitcoin, then you can pretty much look at Bitcoin and not worry about the other cryptos. You just make yourself, uh, make your life a hell of a lot easier because you want things that are going up. Is there price history from a previous bull market? So you can determine the trend. So look at the chart all the way back to where this coin uh, started from. So long-term holds, store of value, um, selling might not concern you. So you might not even worry about where you might sell these. So after you've figured out what it is that you want, where you're buying it, if you wanna flip these coins for returns, for profits, you wanna get some money out, you gotta figure out where you wanna sell them as well. But if you're taking a, a more passive uh, angle towards your investing and you just wanna dollar cost average into some of these cryptos, then maybe selling's not such an issue. You're just happy to hold it for five to 10 years. Short-term trades, you'll need to predetermine your sell targets as well. So uh, check out the videos on the channel when it comes to trading and where you want to exit and how to identify exit points as well. So as you can see, there is a lot to get through when it comes to investing in the market. Now you can just take it easy and not worry about anything and just throw your money at something like a meme coin or a Ponzi scheme. But if you want to make it a long-term endeavor, I suggest looking into things and taking it a little more seriously and uh, spending your time in understanding what it is that you're doing. Look at your fundamental analysis, technical analysis. Uh, many cryptos out there are basically vaporware looking to take your money. And we can see that and it happens time and time again. Uh, just don't get yourself caught up in that because as soon as you throw some money in, it can be gone. So it may be hard to scrap the majority of the projects that you're looking at. But remember, it might be harder to watch your investment drop to zero. So you might have a short list of 50 projects and you wanna invest in all of them because they all sound fantastic. Be really hard on which ones are good and which ones aren't so good. 
uh, because basically if you're going to spread yourself so thin, obviously you lose all that time and many of these could just go to zero. So what feels harder, watching your money drop to zero or scrapping some off the list? So decide what your time is worth. I don't think many people give this enough thought and understand it and how to work it out, what their time is really worth. Dedicate yourself to crypto research and trading or take it passively. Really make that decision because that will make your life a lot easier from both directions. You can basically set yourself a goal and target and move on from that. Do I want a small portfolio? Do I, how do I want to structure my time? Or do I want to do something a little more aggressive in the market? Decide what your goals are for a crypto bull market and where you plan on storing your profits before you begin investing. Do you want to take it out into fiat, into stable coins, which is essentially fiat, but on the blockchain? Do you want to buy metals with these profits? Do you want to buy Bitcoin with the profits and have it as store of value? So I hope that gave you some idea of how to invest your first one to $500. I've given a lot of questions to think about. I could have just started the video and say, put if you want to be a passive investor, choose two or three cryptos. If you want to be aggressive, then go down the path of researching absolutely everything. But I think until you have the questions to understand what it is you really want to do so that you can ask yourself those questions to come up with the answers rather than someone tell you what it is, you'll never know. Now that you decided what type of investor you are and what your portfolio might look like, here are a couple of easy to use tools. CoinMarketCap. Now, if you just jump onto this site, CoinMarketCap.com, you can use this portfolio tracker further down. Create your portfolio. You just need an email address, password, login, and then you can just uh, create a watch list of coins on here so you can see them track in real time. That also has an app. CoinMarketCap has an app so you can see that on your phone and just do it on the go, nice and easy. And you could have multiple portfolios so that you could see which one is performing better. If you weren't ready to put any money into the market, you could have a simple portfolio and compare that to something uh, with a few more different altcoins uh, to see which one would work out longer term. The other thing you can use for Australians would be something like Swiftex and maybe your exchange has this as well, but they have a demo portfolio here and you can just add in your cryptos. You come up with a nice pie chart and you can just add in whatever it is you want and watch this in real time, track the market uh, of the, the profits and losses. Now, if you're still undecided with what to do from here, drop your email address on our free newsletter down below. It comes out once every two weeks, covers everything in cryptocurrency, stocks, and the property market. I've been doing this for 15 years, and so it's my full-time gig now. So if you want some extra updates, some extra help, make sure you drop your email address down below and you'll get that free newsletter once every two weeks. I hope you found a lot of value from that video. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. It tells YouTube what type of videos you want to see next. And if you're liking up the content that helps you and improve your investing and cryptocurrency knowledge, why not? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and the bell notification icon. You can follow me on Instagram for Q&As and Twitter as well for cryptocurrency and investing updates. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next video. So until then, have more fun to get more done.